and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our Reveal Wheel Templates for Sweetest Flavor. Sweetest Flavor is a stamp set that we came out with about a year ago that works perfectly with the Reveal Wheel. And now we've come out with the templates that are going to line up with that window and make stamping for the Sweetest Flavor Reveal Wheels super easy. So this is what that template looks like and as you can see it fits right over that wheel and it'll help for stamping. If you've never seen these templates before, we're going to link it in the description below to go to the original intro video for these templates so you can see exactly how they work. We're going to be making a reveal wheel card using the templates and we're going to stamp out a bunch of images. And of course we're going to stamp out that ice cream cone there from Sweetest Flavor. We're also stamping out a fox from the Butterfly Kisses stamp set and then some fun little greenery here from Critters in the Jungle and Flutter By. Those are two older sets. It's really fun to go through your older sets and look for grass and flowers that you can combine into cute scenes. So now we're going to be stamping out these images in some jet black ink. And jet black ink is really cool because not only is it alcohol marker friendly, it's also watercolor friendly too. And so we're going to be using some Zig Real Color brush pens today and a little bit of water to create a really cool kind of watercolor texture onto these images. So now that we've stamped everything out, we're just going to go ahead and stamp out one more flower. And now we can start to work on the coloring. These zig pens are really cool because you can use them with or without water. So in this case we're going to be doing just a little bit of water. You can see we put down a dark green and then a light green and now we've got one of those water brush pens and we're just going to blend those together so that there's a nice seamless kind of gradient between the two colors. So here we've got some yellow and now some orange and then we can blend out from yellow to orange with our water brush pen. You could also just use a simple small paintbrush and a little cup of water too. So same thing here we're just going to blend that out and this is is really cool really quick and easy and a really nice alternative if maybe using something like Copic markers isn't your favorite thing this is really fun to try too and I really like these markers and they have beautiful colors so here you can see we're taking a bunch of different shades of brown we're gonna start with the darkest and then go to a medium and then a light and then we're gonna blend with that watercolor into the white so you'll see we've got the water brush and we're blending those colors into that white area creating an even lighter color between them and you can see how quick and easy that blending goes and just how cute that little fox is looking. So now we're going to take the water brush and pull that color into the white areas, blending it all out and creating a really cool gradient. Then we'll repeat the same thing for the ice cream cone. So we're going to add some color in and once again blend out with that water brush. I also love that you can be pretty messy with these markers because when you blend with the water it makes it all nice and smooth. Next, we're going to use the Reveal Wheel add-on die for Sweetest Flavor. And so it comes with two dies, and one of them is this really cool frame die. So when you line this up with your ice cream cone stamped image, it's going to create this cool frame so that we can have the ice cream flavors change with our spinning Reveal Wheel. That die set also comes with the Reveal Wheel window. So you'll see that little puzzle piece there. We're going to use that in just a second. But first we need to cut out the other images too. So we're going to take those coordinating dies and line them up. We'll hold it in place with some low tack tape. We're using some washi tape here. We can run that through the die cut machine. And now you'll see that when we pop these out, we have cute little die cut images, including that ice cream cone frame, which looks awesome. Next, we're going to work on the reveal wheel mechanism. So we've cut our large main wheel and our smaller wheel base. And then now we're going to cut the front of the card. So you'll see there, there's a little puzzle piece opening there. That ice cream cone is going to fit perfectly in that. So we're going to drop that right in. And now we can run that through the die cut machine. And we're going to run that through with some white cardstock. And if you've never made a reveal wheel before, make sure to check out our intro to reveal wheel video. I'll link it in the description below. Then we're going to take that window off and we're going to run that through without any window attached and that's going to give us the base for our reveal wheel. Now before we start doing this mechanism here, we wanted to do some inking first. And today we're recreating a card by Kay, so thank you so much Kay for letting us recreate this card for the video. So we're going to be using a blender brush and some cilantro ink and some mermaid ink to create a grass and a sky. So we've kind of laid the fox where it's going to go with the ice cream and we can make a little mark as to where the ground should be. And that's going to give us a guide as to where to put our green ink. And then now we're just going to build up that ink. So you kind of tap the brush into the ink and then go around in a circle building up the color until it's the perfect look. Then we're going to do the same thing with the mermaid ink, letting those two touch so that we have our grass and our sky. And you can see just how pretty that looks. Next up, we're going to take that ice cream cone and add a little liquid glue with the glue tube and attach that over that window opening. 
and then we're going to do some stamping. So here we have the reveal wheel friends and family sentiment. And instead of having these sentiments move and change in the reveal wheel, we're actually just going to use them on the card front. And that's one of the reasons I love that stamp set is it works with the whole spinning concept, but you can also just use these phrases on your cards too. So we're going to be stamping something above the ice cream cone and then something down in the grass underneath the fox. So we're going to lay the fox on the card just to give us a general idea of where to put that sentiment there. And then once we have that perfect placement, we can take our Misty and pick up those sayings and that way we can stamp them exactly where they should go. So now that we've got it all lined up, we're going to remove all the extra pieces and do some stamping in some black licorice ink. And I just love the phrase, hope your birthday is filled with ice cream. It's so cute and adorable, and it's what I would want my birthday to be filled with. Here we have our Spiffy Speckles paper, and we're going to be using this as the base of the card and also as the ice cream flavors because these colors are perfect for ice cream because they're kind of soft pastels. So we're going to take this blue piece here, and we're going to cut that down to five and a half by four and a quarter, and we'll add that onto a white card base. Then we're going to start working with our wheel. So to create the color change here, instead of using ink blending or something like that, we're going to use the pattern papers. And so we need quarter sized pieces so that the color is going to change four times. So we're going to die cut that wheel from just some scraps. This is a great way to use up your scraps, some scraps of this pattern paper. And now we have four different flavors and we can start layering those onto the wheel. But first we just need to quarter these up since we use some kind of odd leftover scraps. So we're just going to make a little pencil line and then we can run these through through our paper trimmer creating quarters so that we can fill in our whole pie. Now the other thing that Kay had in her card which was really cool is that on the wheel part that sticks out there was no color change there. That was just a white wheel. The only color change happened behind the ice cream cone. And there's a quick way to get that look so that the color change is not happening on the side of the card. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these quartered pieces and we're going to cut right along that emboss line that the die creates. That emboss line is a guide for lining up your reveal wheel, but in this case it's going to be a guide for where to trim so that none of the color shows on the outside of the wheel. Now your trimming here doesn't need to be perfect because it's okay. No one's ever going to see that edge. So you can just easily cut with your scissors and you'll see how cool this is is gonna look. So I love that the color change surprise is just happening under the ice cream cone. It's just a really cool look. So here we're gonna lay all of our pieces and we're gonna finish it up there with our yellow flavor. Or maybe this is more like a sorbet than an ice cream, but or that could be vanilla, I guess, instead of lemon. So you can see how cute those are looking. And then now we're gonna work with our template. So this template is gonna help us stamp some smiley faces in perfect placement without having to make any kind of pencil marks or guidelines. So we're gonna line that up with the wheel and use a piece of washi tape or post-it note tape would work too to hold that template over our wheel. Now we're going to take some different smiley faces. So the Sweetest Flavor set has some really cute smiley faces in it. And it also has these really fun little rosy cheeks in it too. So we're going to be stamping the smiley face and also some rosy cheeks in guava ink. So you'll see you can line those right up with the smiley faces. Now to have more of a change in the smiley faces, a ton of other stamp sets have really cute faces and this Smart Cookie stamp set has these really cute ones with the glasses that we thought would look really, really adorable in these ice cream cones. So we're gonna stamp those out and you can see just how cute those look. So we'll stamp out both of those cute little glasses, guys, and we're also gonna give them rosy cheeks too so that they all have the rosy cheeks. And you can see how cute that is with all of those faces changing. So you can look through all of your sets and mix and match a ton of different phases for our cards like this. Now it's time to start forming the reveal wheel. So we're going to take our smaller wheel base and we're going to take our mini brad and put it up through the base and then up through the main wheel. We're going to open up those prongs to secure it in place but we're going to move our template out of the way first. Then we're going to flip that whole wheel over and we're going to take some foam squares and we're going to put them around the brad but not touching the brad onto that smaller wheel base. Then we can peel up the liner paper exposing that adhesive and we're going to use this template as a guide to help us line up this wheel. So you can take your template and kind of lay it right over your wheel and hold it in place and then you can look through that ice cream shaped window and when you don't see that template anymore you know you have that wheel in the perfect place and then we can line Line it up with the base that we cut without the window, press down, and now that wheel is secured perfectly in place and we can just move that template out of the way. 
Now we've got some foam squares all around that wheel but not touching the wheel so that it can move freely. We're going to peel up the liner paper and then lay the window piece on top. This is going to form the reveal wheel mechanism that's going to create not only a flavor change, but a smiley face change too. Then we can take that whole wheel and we're going to add it onto that blue card base that we created earlier. Now it's time to start decorating the card, so we're going to add that fox on with some foam squares, and I love how he's holding the ice cream cone. It's absolutely adorable. And then we're going to add some of the grass and flowers around there just to kind of help set the scene. I just love how this card is looking. I love how Kay added that cool sky and grass look just with a little ink blending. And now as you see, when you turn this card, it creates the coolest interactive mechanism where you have the smiley faces changing and the ice cream flavors changing. And as you can hear, I am just smiling and laughing looking at this card. It's so happy and so cute. This would make someone's birthday awesome. So I can't wait to hear what kind of really cool ice cream reveal wheels that you're gonna create. So make sure to share it with us in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!